Hi everyone. Did you know that you can uh, create and run a change action on an instance comparing to a change action on a reference? So this is something that usually you would do when you have a configured product structure where you want to make a modification on a single instance or probably set of instances which belong to a specific uh, model uh, version and you want to track these changes. For example, modification of attributes of these instances or probably reposition them within the product structure. So let's see how you can do that in Inovia. So we see here a product structure, which is configured, as you can see. I have the attribute for uh, change required, which currently is not uh, on. And we have also attributes for that specific instance, which, as you can see, I can modify them, update them, because there is no work under the change action yet. Now, if I want to do any modification which is related to a change process, I have to use, uh, the administrator has to switch on the change required on instance option to enable me to do that. So let's do that now. So uh, the change required is now available for that specific instance. And as you can see, I cannot modify the attributes because there is no change action attached to this. Now let's do a different type of change. Let's modify the position of this specific instance within the product structure. And let's see what happens when I do not have a work under a specific uh, change action. So I am modifying the positioning and I'll try now to save these changes. And as you can see, I'm getting now an error message, meaning that there should be a change action attached to this instance in order to enable me to track uh, these modifications. So I'm going to work under uh, an existing uh, change action. I'm going to select uh, this specific one. And from now on, on Let's see if the system will allow me to modify the positioning of that specific instance. So I'm repeating exactly the same uh, action that I did before. And when I try to save the repositioning of this specific instance within this product structure, this will be a success at this time because there is a change action which I am working under it. Now let's take a look at the content of this change action. All these changes have been recorded in the realized changes and you can see it's a configured move type of change details. And if I go to the information uh, on this instance, I will also see that the change action is also available under the change required.